2017 Bobcat Invitational. Got 20 teams on the line coming at us now. This is the first varsity race on this course. A lot of excitement to come. The race is off and they're coming up the first hill. Campbell takes a strong first lead. Followed by Merrimack Valley Kingswood. Good group of Oyster River right behind them. Still in a tight cluster, the whole group. Okay, this is NewHampshireCrossCountry.com coming at you from the 2017 Oyster River Bobcat Invitational. Our meet hub today is brought to you by Lank, Lank Orthodontics, and we're here at the start of the Varsity Boys race and leading the pack right now over the hay bales. Yes, I said hay bales. Is Jeffrey Allen from Campbell. We are 2.36 into the race. That's David Reynolds second. Looks like the new transfer, Kieran Murphy, third. That's, that shows some steeplechase prowess right there. We got a tilt and runner fourth. Stensley is fifth. Kingswood, Milford, Little O'Brien, Fleischer. And Oyster River has five in the top 15 with Henry Keegan just biding his time. This is phenomenal hurdle form. I bet you Fergus Collin is looking for future hurdlers right now. Again, we are at the Oyster River Invitational. Our meet hub brought to you by Link Orthodontics. seconds into the race and Campbell still has a little gap on the second group but he is not out of touch right behind him right on his heels Merrimack Valley Oyster River Tilton Oyster River second runner and then another good group fighting for the top ten a good mix of teams throughout the race right now. Um, almost four minutes in. Lots of colors. This is great to see. Let's go, 
Okay, get once again, NewHampshireCrossCountry.com coming at you from the 2017 Bobcat Invitational Meet Hub brought to you by Lank Ortho Orthodontics. We're about midway through the course. This is the second time they're going to be coming over the hay bales. They're about 7.25 into the race, and we see a front pack is formed with Jeffrey Allen of Cam Campbell, David Reynolds of Merrimack Valley, Tilton Runner, unidentified. Patrick Guiney. Patrick Guiney, thank you. And the new transfer for Oyster River, Kieran Murphy. So the top four look pretty strong, pretty set, with Allen leading the way and trying to really push the pace. That's Max Stensley from Oyster River in fifth. And again, we're about 7.53 here. Another pack, Milford, Kingswood. That looks like Andy O'Brien from Oyster River. So Kingswood has two in the top ten with Dover and Sanborn. And here comes the Sea of Blue with Oyster River Bobcats. They look like they're putting this away right now. With their four, three, four, five runners, it's Fleischer, Spinney, and then, oh, Winnicott has four right there. Winnicott has four right there. The other Reynolds, Matt Reynolds, is, is there in the top 12. Hanover's top two runners. Once again, about middle part of the race. We're at about 8.30 into the race right now. Henry Keegan looks like he's struggling. Hopefully, he'll have a great second half. Here comes Trinity. Campbell is looking like they're placing pretty well as a team. Lev has three nicely bunched. That's Kingswood's third or fourth. Kenneth, Merrimack Valley's third. Kenneth. And the Bobcat Invitational is well underway. It's a nice flat course, no major hills. Obviously the hay bales are, are a hit. They have three total loops in woods. They repeat one loop twice, but they repeat one loop once one direction and the other one counterclockwise. All right, once again, it's NewHampshireCrossCountry.com coming at you from the 27th. Oh, big change in the lead here. Here's David Reynolds from Merrimack Valley making a big move. They're just past two miles at 11.40 right now. That's a transfer. Kieran Murphy in second. Tilton in third. Jeffrey Allen is in fourth. Looks like Jeffrey Allen might have taken a spill. Mud all over his legs. Stensley's in third, fourth. In fifth, here's your top five. Just past two miles coming out of the woods. Meat Hub brought to you by Lank Orth Orthodontics. Kingswood now has two in the top eight. Oyster River. Oyster River has two in the top five. And here's Andy O'Brien, freshman. Third for Oyster River, but win it, it with four in the top ten. They're making a play right now. They're making a play right now to challenge Oyster River only if they had a fifth. Merrimack Valley, the other Reynolds twin, Matt Reynolds is here. Owen Fleischer, Oyster River, Parker Spinney. These guys look great, they look strong. One of the small hills of this course. Campbell's second. Here comes Hanover's top guys. One, two, Kingswood's third. Kingswood, and there's Ward, there's Winnicott's, there's Winnicott's fifth. Winnicott's fifth is about 10 seconds behind Oyster River's fifth. If they, if he has a shot, if they have a shot, they've got to move up. If he moves up, this could be a really close meet. Good job, Scott. Camel, Camel, Trinity, Trinity, Leb, Leb, Kennett, Kennett. Winnick Cunnett, sixth and seventh. Winnick Cunnett is making a play to be ranked in the top ten in the state right now. They're making a play to be top ten in the state right now with today's statement. Great race so far. Again, we're 13, 14 into the race. This is just past two miles. Two, the two mile mark is a little bit into the woods with this camera angle. Another fall, looks like it's pretty treacherous back there. That's kind of like the way we like it here in New Hampshire. Come on, Dan, stay with them. Merrimack Valley takes a lead and puts a gap on that rest of that front pack at 12, 19 into this race. Oyster River behind him with his eyes on him. Tilton. And Campbell is now in fourth position after taking that strong lead at the beginning. Maybe he went out a little too hard. Kick it, kick it. Oyster River's right on his tail. Kingswood and Milford fighting for that top ten spots. Such a mix of teams in the top here. Let's go! Nail that gap! Most of these runners, the first or second on their team, but now we've got these, this group of Winnicunna boys that have really, really stuck together. That 
could be a strong team showing, but here's Oyster Rivers, third, fourth, and fifth, I believe. So that would round out their team, so they might have it for team scores. We'll have to see. Let's go! You gotta get back, you gotta get here. You gotta get Another here. Another group of runners. Be strong, be strong. Let's go. These boys are all going into the final. Let's go, boys. Let's go, Would you? Come on, let's go. Come on. Got to pass on the rope. Here we go. Here we go. 15, 16 into the race, and first place is coming out of the woods, Merrimack Valley. They have about 400 meters to go from here. Oyster River holding strong to that second place. Nice job, nice job. Tilton has moved to third. Yeah, Oyster River's second runner, and Campbell moved back another place. Kingswood looking strong. Good job. Ready to race them. That was Oyster River's third runner, I believe. And now Winnicunit's got a good group of boys, but I don't think it'll be enough for the team spot. Team win. Yep, because here he rounds out Oyster River's top five. You guys are scarring. Good job. Strong finish, strong finish. Kingswood with a looking strong for this last bit. Go, Hopefully he holds it to the finish. Okay, we're at the Oyster River 2017 Bobcat Invitational. Today's meet up brought to you by Link Orthodontics, and here we are with our winner at 1615 right now. David Reynolds of Merrimack Valley. He was in a pack of four midway through. We're at 1620, 1621, 22. And here's David Reynolds finishing as the champion of the 2017 Oyster River Bobcat Invitational. And coming up behind, Oyster River's new number one runner, Karen Murphy, the transfer. Very strong. Fergus Cullen called them Clark Kent. And without the glasses, I think I can see the resemblance. Very strong effort by Karen Murphy. And third is your runner from Tilton. Right now in 16.50. Let's see if he can break 17 minutes. Oyster River will have two in the top five. That's Max Densley coming in. That's 16.58 for Tilton. Come on, man. Jeffrey Allen trying to bring him down. Max Densley, Jeffrey Allen. Who's going to do it? 17.06, Oyster River. 17.07, blue before red. Kingswood, here's Kingswood. Six coming in, six Kingswoods first. Here comes Andy O'Brien, Oyster River second. Andy O'Brien, Oyster River second in 17.22, 23. Sanborn. Great job, 17.28 by a freshman. Got some cramping going on. Very humid day today. Please, Looks like Milford please, cramping, please. Milford cramping. Here comes Winnicott, it's four. Winnicott, it's four. Oyster River has three in. Winnicott now has four in. I got, a, I got that guy before the first. Season. Oyster River's fourth, fifth, and sixth coming in. Fourth, fifth, and sixth coming in. Okay. Fourth, fifth, and sixth coming in. The pack of threes of Parker Spinney and Owen Fleischer. All in right around 18 minutes. Sal Hegan. Then Kingswood. Hanover's fourth. Kingswood. Kingswood having strong. Here comes Winnicott. It's fifth, man. It should be pretty tight. Looks like Oyster River should have taken this one. But Winnicott is definitely making a play for top 10 in the state. Great job by the Warriors of Winnicott today. Hanover, Kennett. Kennett has two, and Campbell's having a really strong showing today as well. With Jeffrey Allen in the top four. Campbell has three or four in at this point. 
Hanover, Milfer now has two win. Levin, Rory, Winnicunit is deep. Merrimack Valley's third. Kings was third or fourth. Trinity, Leb, Trinity, Kennett, Campbell, Sabres, Pembroke. You're also getting a little bit of a feel what the shoot is like. Feel what the shoot is like. Campbell, Lebanon. Let's see who can break 19. Can Spalding break 19? Dover, Dover. Salhegan. All these guys giving through a pretty humid day. We're starting to see the effects of that on this day. Hanover, Fitch, Trinity, Oyster River. Pembroke, Trinity, Salhegan, Campbell, Hopkinton. We're at 1936 right now. Greensburg. Sanborn. <laughs> no, that's good. I recommend that. Yeah. Saints. Saints. Is this guy green before Saints? 